Onshape provides a library of standard structural profiles built directly into the frame feature. However, there might be times where you need to create a custom library of frame profiles. It is very easy to create custom profiles to use with the frames feature and even share those profiles to other users. This video will explore how to create custom profiles by defining a library of sketches, how to configure the profile for different size options, and how to tag the profile so that the cut list table populates. To start, create a new on shape document. We recommend organizing these profiles in a unique document or even several documents for larger custom libraries organized in a folder in the root of the company or enterprise. This makes it easy to share to other users who need to use the profiles. Create a sketch of the needed shape for the profile in a part studio. We recommend creating one sketch per part studio for each profile shape. While sketching, consider how the profile should be aligned. If necessary, sketch points can be added to serve as additional alignment points. Define the sketch with dimensions and relations. Use variables when defining the sketch dimensions that need to be configured for different size options. This makes it easy to identify the critical values of the profile. Rename the part studio and sketch to be descriptive of the profile. This makes it easier for users when they need to use the profile and provides labels. The part studio name displays at the top level of the dialog when selecting the profile and the sketch name below that. If the profile is available in several different sizes with the same shape, configure the sketch. Build configuration tables using the list input for each size. Then configure the dimensions or variables if used. Edit the sketch, right-click on each dimension that should be adjusted and select configure dimension. If you define the sketch with variables, edit the variable, right-click on the value and select configure. Edit the values in the configuration table. Next, tag the profile. This adds properties to the profile so that when it is used in a frame feature, the cut list table displays the column headers like standard and description and inputs values for those properties. Click the tag profile icon in the frame toolset within the feature toolbar. Select the sketch profile in the first selection box. You can click it from the graphics area or the feature list. If additional alignment points are required, expand the selection field and select points in the sketch to serve as alignment points. Then input numeric or text strings for standard and description. If these fields are left blank, that column is not added to the cut list when the profile is used, or that cell displays not set if other profiles used in the structure have that column header defined. Both standard and description inputs can be configured. Right-click on the field in the Tag Profile dialog and choose Configure. Then edit the cells in the configuration table. To add custom properties to the profile, click Add Column. Input the column header or property name in the header field and then the cell value for this profile in the value field. Custom properties cannot be configured. To remove a custom column, click the X in the dialog. Accept the Tag Profile feature. Now this profile can be used with structures contained in this document. Let's take a look. Let's start a new frame feature in another part studio and click into the sketch profile selection box. In current document, notice the profile. Adjust the configuration and select the sketch. When building out custom profile libraries, it is recommended to keep the profiles in a different document than the designs using them. In this case, you must version the document that contains the profiles once complete. Now you may reference the profile using linked documents. This follows the same familiar workflow whenever working with linked documents. In this example, the custom profiles are located in a different document. Now click other documents when selecting the sketch profile field in the frame feature. Navigate to the document and select the sketch profile. To allow other users access to custom profiles, you must share the document or folder containing the profiles. Users who need to reference the custom profiles in the frames feature need view and link permissions only. Users who are helping manage the custom profiles need edit and link permissions. Using Teams to share is a great way to be sure the right people have access and makes managing the access easier. 
When employee changes occur in the organization, it is easier to add or remove users to and from a team already shared to the profiles than managing the individual shares. This video explored creating, organizing, and tagging custom profiles to use with the frame feature. We also took a look at recommendations to share custom profiles amongst the team.